Hello, guys. So I wanted to address something about the new 2022-2023 style helmets for the clone figures. So recently, LEGO have decided to add helmet holes to the Phase 2 clone helmets. Now, um, some people say that these helmets are ugly because they do not align with the uh, antenna hole that is already on there. Now, the hole is placed above the antenna hole, which means you cannot use antennas in the right spot, which, you know, yeah, that makes sense. But it's not meant for antennas. It's meant for visors and antennas. If you put the helmet hole where the antenna is supposed to go, you cannot use the visors there. No matter what you think, the helmet visors will not go there because they will be too low. So the way the helmet holes are now, which are higher up, they work both as helmet holes for visors and antennas. Now, some people say just remove the helmet holes for certain figures and just keep the helmet holes for like Cody. Yeah, well, it makes sense. You know, the argument makes sense. The helmet holes aren't meant for army building. They're meant for specialist troopers. Well, what I say to that is, how are you supposed to get any customization out of your minifigures? If you're someone who just likes the clones and just having a lot of clone army minifigures, I get that, but you can't use the the visors and the, and the antenna pieces that they've given you in these sets to their full extent if you just have a single Commander Cody minifigure um, with a visor and that's it. Like, the whole point of the helmet holes is to give you more customization. Now, not extending further than that, giving you more options in sets themselves. Now, if you look at the new 2020 501st Battle Pack, all of the minifigures, and I mean all of them make use of the new helmet holes for all of the minifigures. Now, the box art does have false advertising, which sucks. I know that sucks, but it's not... Um, it's not a bad thing necessarily because, you know, it makes the box art look better or whatever, but... The antenna looks absolutely fine without being in the right spot. It does not need to be in the right spot unless you only want antennas on your figures, which makes no sense because why would you only want antennas? You need the visors. And also, the visors are fine. They do not need to be updated. And if we did get an update on these visors, they would kind of be incompatible with older figures. Now, if you look at these old clones, um, you know, the visors, there's only black and gray and like dark red. That's all we got from up to like 2009 to 2012. And now that we're getting orange and blue, that extends so much farther than just three colors that we ever got in that visor piece and you know you can update your old commander cody mini figure to have a orange visor rather than gray you know there's so much more than just well we need a new one we don't need a new one well at least not yet because we still haven't even gotten that much use out of it. we've only seen it in a couple of sets and it's mostly in black and gray and that's just my take on it. Um, you know, 
for army building, yes, I agree. The helmet holes do not work, especially in mass quantity because it's a lot of figures that have this inaccurate design. But for specialist troopers and a lot of clones, and, you know, for the ATTE, it's a big set. You're not going to be army building with three 50. 212th minifigures in a single $140 set. Like, that doesn't make any sense. But yeah, that's just my take, and I'll see you in the next video.